Good evening, I'm Larry Sperano. Thank you very much for joining us. They are gone, but tonight during a remembrance on Airport Road, it was obvious that they will not be forgotten. Gray Sky reports on how two young boys and their grandfather are being remembered. Today would have been Joseph Pudlinski's 56th birthday, but a fatal two-car collision on Airport Road two weeks ago claimed his life and two of his grandsons, as well as another driver. The mother of the two boys, Melanie Houghton, says the support of friends and family is what keeps her going. It's what makes me get up in the morning out of bed. I can't say it's what makes me wake up because I don't sleep anymore. People gathered outside the sports complex on Airport Road for a candlelight vigil tonight where they released hundreds of balloons. The tragic accident happened early in the afternoon on January 7th when Pedlinski suffered a heart attack and swerved into the oncoming lane, killing the other driver, 56-year-old Rose Kozlowski. The tragedy isn't just, just for our boys. It, it, it's much bigger than just our boys, and we do know that her family is hurting and grieving, too, and we are grieving with them, and we send our love to them. Melanie's 8-year-old daughter, Natalia Henry, was also a passenger in the minivan her grandfather was driving, but she suffered only minor injuries. She was at the vigil to send colorful balloons up to her brothers and grandfather. But it wasn't only in Binghamton that balloons dotted the sky. As far as Florida, uh, Hawaii, uh, some people in other countries. Davidson says the internet helped spread the word and connect family and friends who have been sending in pictures of balloons they're sending off. I'm sure people saw balloons no matter where you were today. Melanie says it's this support that keeps her strong for her four other children. My inspiration that lets me know that someday I will be able to remember my boys and not be sad that they're not here, but be happy that they live no. the lives they live in the short time they were here. And in their short lives, Melanie says her boys touched the lives of everyone they met. <laughs> Tyler um, got suspended from kindergarten five months before, and you know the principal calls me and she says she covers the phone and she says. He just smiles at me, and I just want to say, okay, Tyler, go back to class. Like, you just looked at them, and they were happiness. In Binghamton, Grace Guy, Fox 40 News. And another very cold night with some.